Hi guys, Jim here from Quiet Co. and today I'm going to go through 10 things that just simply aren't true with the soundproofing industry. They're things that I hear about all the time and I'm going to share them with you so hopefully you don't do them when you're considering soundproofing your home. Number one is soundproofing the alcoves either side of a chimney stack will give you peace and quiet in your home. No, that's simply not true. Look at this diagram here. Noise, when noise reaches a certain volume or, or a certain decibel, say, it enters the structure of the building. It can come down through the floor, through maybe flanking, maybe a hole in the structure. It can come up through the ceiling and go down that way. Maybe your joists go into the wall and you might have holes going through to next door that way. But when, when noise reaches a certain volume, like heavy bass, like that, that noise coming through or maybe a particular tone of voice shouting a sneeze or something like that that noise enters the structure of the building it will come through the chimney stack it will come through the fire back it will come through the floor the ceiling joist it enters the structure and if you look at this other picture now it will enter uh, when it enters the structure it will come down that flanking wall it'll come down that window wall that wall yes that exterior window wall and it will also come through that wall perpendicular that wall may be separating that lounge diner or a, uh, a wall separating the front and back bedroom. So treating the alcoves either side of the chimney stack will not get you that peace and quiet uh, in your home. It may be help with the higher frequency noise. It will maybe take out light conversation and TV, uh, but it's, it will not give you that peace and quiet in your home. Number two is dot and dab plasterboard uh, using sound block board. So you're using the heavy duty sound block board uh, with dot and dab to reduce the noise. No, that's simply not true, it won't work. Using the dot and dab, you're creating those hollow voids behind there, and just because you're using the heavy, uh, heavy duty sound block board, the noise can still resonate in the hollow voids. We actually had some people last week, that, that which maybe encouraged me to do this video, is they dot and dab heavy duty sound block board to the wall, and then, they decided to do another layer of dot and dab plasterboard on top of the uh, on top of that first layer of heavy duty sound rock board dot and dab to the wall. And and what it did, it made the noise worse. It made the noise even more worse. You went from hearing a muffled noise to being able to make out words. So do not do that. If if you want to if you want to put something on the wall uh, uh, that's quick and easy, then maybe battens insulate it and then put board on. That will reduce flanking noise. It won't give you much uh, sound attenuation or sound reduction directly because it's not you're not using um, advanced soundproof materials. You're not you, you haven't got a resilient layer in there. But it will certainly reduce the flanking noise. The same as wet plaster. Uh, you're not you're not creating any um, hollow voids for the sound to resonate down. Number three is rigid insulation, such as Celotex, Extra Therm, Kingspan, those types of products with the foam uh, in between and that foil, that aluminium foil uh, uh, all around it. So don't use that product because aluminium is one of the fastest way for sound to travel. Travel, it sound travels so easily through aluminium uh, and, and therefore that product will channel the noise and it doesn't offer any sound attenuation. Use something like Rockwall. Number four is soundproofing wallpaper. Yes, I hear this all the time, probably once once or twice a month we hear, um, I'm trying soundproofing wallpaper, what sort of result will I get? Or I tried soundproofing wallpaper and it hasn't worked. Don't use soundproofing wallpaper. You think, how thick is soundproofing wallpaper? The systems and products that we use to apply to your walls are at least 50 mil thick. They're two inches. Uh, the, the actual wall systems that we use are 150 mil to the direct noise path or, or 95 mil to the direct noise path. So soundproofing wallpaper, hmm, I'm not sure what sort of reduction you're gonna get from that. Number five is soundproofing paint. Yes, I know we just talk about soundproofing wallpaper, but there are equal amount of people that do try soundproofing paint. Uh, if it was as easy as I could paint people's walls to give them that peace and quiet to improve their health and well-being, I would be using soundproofing paint all the time. So no, I don't use soundproofing paint. Soundproofing paint will not give you peace and quiet in your home. Soundproofing paint, if you use a textured paint, maybe it will, um, on the equipment, you could see a, a, re a reduction in the sound energy. You could ch change the acoustics within the room, maybe with a textured paint. Um, but I, I no, no, soundproofing paint does not reduce the noise. Number six, soundproofing plaster. Again, soundproofing plaster, if it was the case that soundproofing plaster could reduce the noise and give you peace and quiet, improve your health and well-being, I would be using it all the time. There are some 
uh, gypsum soundproofing plasters that can we work in combination with uh, other soundproofing products. They are part of the system, but soundproofing plaster alone, uh, no, I would recommend something you use in something like a, a wet plaster, maybe a sand and cement render, or you could use battens insulated with, with a board on there. That would give you even more uh, reduction in noise than the soundproof plaster. Okay, so no soundproofing plaster, I, 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 that will not reduce the noise, giving you peace and quiet in your home. Number seven, we still hear it, egg box cartons reduce the noise. I've covered my wall in egg box cartons. Uh, someone used drink cups uh, the other day, the, you know, the, we have the drink cups and you can put the four, four cups in there for your cups of coffee. Uh, someone used that the other day. Uh, no, uh, unfortunately, that will change the acoustics within the room. So when you covered your wall with egg cartons, it will change, it will sound different. It will sound slightly different. The acoustics within the room has changed and that is deceiving because you're still gonna hear the, the you're still gonna hear that clonking around, you're still gonna hear that shouting, that conversation coming through. Remember, when noise reaches that certain volume, that certain decibel, it enters the structure of the building. And the only way to do that is either decoupling or sound deadening the wall, like when you put your hand on the cymbal. Number eight is soundproofing a shed for drums. You cannot really soundproof a shed for drums, unfortunately. A shed, uh, most sheds just cannot take the load bearing of the soundproofing materials required to reduce the noise of drums. Drums is 9800 dB, say, so how thick the system? You need a 300 mil thick wall. Okay, 150 mil thick floating frame, floating room within a room is required to reduce drum noise. You need to raise the floor as well and you need to take 200 mil off the ceiling. So you're not gonna be left with much ceiling height for most shed. Most of our products are 100 kgs in weight. That's the load bearing of the soundproofing system to reduce that drum noise. So you need good quality foundations to take the load bearing of those soundproofing products. So unfortunately a shed is not going to be able to be used to reduce drum noise. Number nine is panel systems. Panel systems reduce the noise and give you peace and quiet in your home. Okay, so some panel systems can be used on flanking areas to reduce the sound dead in the wall. Yes, absolutely. But panel systems, really small panel system fixed to the party wall, maybe stop those higher frequencies. Uh, they will maybe stop normal conversations, but shouting, um, uh, music, TV to a high volume, uh, kids running around, uh, stair noise, doors banging, plug sockets, all those sorts of noises cannot be stopped by panel systems, unfortunately. Uh, so as I said, we use systems of about 95 mil to 150 mil thick systems. We do have a system 185 mil thick on our noise-free home package. Uh, those are, they're not panel systems. They're a, a unique combination of interlocking materials. Uh, I, I would say panel systems do not give you that peace and quiet in the home. You will still hear that, ud, that, that thud, that noise come through, and that will start you that will raise your blood pressure and it only takes that slight bit of noise that slight bit of irritation to to raise that blood pressure so no panel systems uh, will not give you that peace and quiet that feelings of settled comfortable in your home number 10 okay we're nearly there soundproofing a room within a day uh, unfortunately soundproofing does take longer than a day most soundproofing projects for, that we do take about a week to do we have to treat that floor so we're going to go into the floor treat any holes in the structure uh, we're going to treat the direct noise path which will normally include the 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 fireplace and the fire back too for a lot of properties uh, we're going to treat that ceiling, that window wall, the other wall perpendicular. There is a lot to it. A complete plaster finish, refitting all the skirting, architrave, all the electrical's got to be extended, the uh, plumbing's all got to be extended too, all the painting and decorating and any fixes and fittings that you need doing as well. Unfortunately, all of that cannot be done in a day. It's just not practical. So soundproofing within a day just doesn't exist. Okay, so I hope that little video has helped. Hopefully you can avoid some of those costly mistakes when you're considering soundproofing your home. If you want more information, you can go to quietco.uk, download the free soundproofing guide. If you want more, you can uh, look at the uh, link down below. That's the link for the noise-free home. That's the Amazon number one bestseller 
the noise-free home. Have a read with that. That's got loads of information and loads of case studies backed up by UCAS accredited sound testing. Uh, if you would, if you would like uh, the soundproofing done for you, then go on the website, fill out the form, uh, including your email and postcode, uh, and book yourself a free noise diagnosis. Hopefully, you're in our catchment area, and we can come and help you out. And I look forward to speaking with you soon. Cheers.